Hello, and welcome to What the Flick, brought to you by White Castle. <laughs> now we're going to talk about a little documentary. <laughs> Why are there no White Castles in LA? I don't know. There are. You can get them frozen. Yeah, can't you? not the same. The grocery store not, not quite the same. the same. We have Alonzo Duralde. We have Matt Atchity. We have a lovely cast of characters today. And we're going to talk about African cats. This is a documentary, the third in the series from the Disney Nature label. They all come out on Earth Day. Go recycle a plastic bottle today, but maybe don't go see African Cats. African Cats is a story about giant pussy. Oh, giant cats, sorry. <laughs> giant cats. Oh, sorry, it's a Disney go. movie. You I know, I warned you ahead of time I was going to do that. Uh, this is a movie about uh, a cheetah, a single female uh, mother that is raising a litter of cheetahs that gets a little bit smaller over the course of the movie. Spoilers. Kind of sad. Um, and a lioness raising her cub as part of a pride and kind of the contrast between life in the pride and life for a cheetah out on their own. And you n get to see in no uncertain terms how difficult it would be to raise an animal in the savannah. <laughs> Lions and cheetahs and gazelles and ostriches, and it's a, it's a big family out there in Africa. But for your family, this may or may not be totally appropriate. There was a little girl, like four or five years old in my screening, who, who freaked out and had to leave, and then she and her mom came back, and then something else happened, and she got upset <laughs> again, and they left and did not come back. What made them freak out? Um, like, was it the lionesses tearing apart the zebra carcass? Yeah, definitely, there's the part where they're all huddled around the car, because they've got blood on their yeah. faces. It's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I think that this movie probably isn't appropriate for kids under, say, six or seven, and six or seven's probably the cutoff. Like, yeah. Because, you know, it's not just, you know, the bit with the zebra, you know, these, these they very much anthropomorphize mm -hmm. these animals. Yeah. And to a fault. Uh, mm. Kind of to a <laughs> fault sometimes. And the, the younger, the cubs get in peril. There's a lot of peril because it's Africa and things get dangerous. It is filmed so beautiful, oh, like yeah. all these films are, but you get really up close and personal with these cute little furry kitties and you can like count the whiskers on their faces while they're lapping right. up water from the ground. So of course <laughs> these little kids in the audience are gonna feel a connection because it's right. soft and furry and warm and safe. But um, before the hyena threat, when just a bunch of the cheetah cubs kind of get scattered and the mom is on, on the, the ridge going, Right, calling out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. I'm like, right. oh my God, it's heartbreaking. I can see if you're a kid, you can't find your mom. Right, yeah. That's scary as hell. All of which we bring up just because it's a Disney movie right. and it's being and marketed it's as a G rated family yeah. film. So just, it's not right. the entire family is yeah. going to be down. But, to you're, but you do have a point. This movie is beautifully mm -hmm. shot. And yeah. I think that, you know, arguably the, the high speed camera footage of the cheetah running. After the I gazelle, yes. After the gazelle is almost worth the price of admission yeah, it's alone. stunning, I, yeah. It's just jaw dropping. Here's what doesn't work about African cats, and I think y'all will back me up on <laughs> yes. this one. The narration is Oh my is God. Terrible. It is so overbearing. It's so badly written. I mean, not they, they, they give all the cats names, you know, and they ascribe these very sort of human personality traits to them, which are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And it's just, and, and Sam Jackson, bless his heart, you <laughs> know, very talented actor, but, you know, not even he can make stuff like, Maya thinks her dad is the best in the world. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that, it's, that, oh, it's it, it does get know? It does yeah. get a bit schmaltz. Right. Because it is so intimate, because it is shot so sharply, you like, can follow you can figure it out on, yeah. without him saying, like, Sita must do whatever she can <laughs> to protect her, her cubs. Her precious cubs. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it's, it's, so it, it's unfortunate. So I, I would say, you know, if you have really good earbuds that don't <laughs> have that bleed when you play music, like, take your iPod and listen to, like, some Ladysmith Black Mambazo or something <laughs> and watch this movie because it's gorgeous to look at, yeah. but it's awful to listen to. Should we do numbers? Yeah, I, you know, if it were, if, if, if we take the narration out, I'd give this movie a nine, but as is, uh, five and a half. Okay. Uh, I'm not too far off there. I wouldn't say it's the worst narration I've ever seen in a nature documentary. I give it a six. Wait, you gave it a five and a half? Oh, sorry, I give it a five. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> this worries me with my math. Okay, so I'm giving it a five, you're giving it a five, you're giving it a six. Yes. That's 5.3 to you and me. So go do something else on Earth Day instead. You know, go make your own compost. That's what I, that's what I would say. Um, Ahead. Yeah, rent the DVD and mute it, you know, because that, that, it, it, it's really gorgeous to look at, but oy, that narration. Aye. All right, you guys, thanks for watching us. Have a great day.